unbelievable. He'll be on every channel. Just in time for the six o'clock news. This guy's an artist. It's not enough he cuts her throat. I'll torture her first. God damn it. Is there any ID? It's in your bottle over. Four in Moscow. Another Russian girl. Black Rose, this is our guy. Get a translator, find out what that means. I gotta go talk to the press. Read it, Matt. Go on, read it. I did, sir. Out loud. Hollywood Police Department stymied by serial killer. Murderer runs wild with impunity. You hear that? Press is calling us inept, stymied. You like that? Frank, we've tried to interview dozens of Russians in West Hollywood, but that community shuts down like a clam. They speak little or no English, or just don't want to talk to police. I'm well aware of the obstacles you all face, but we're gonna try something new. I've spoken to the mayor, and I'm bringing someone in from Moscow. An outsider? Captain, we have translators. I know a guy in Van Nuys has a PhD in Slavic languages. Uh, by the way, we translated the, the note you found on the dead girl. It said, you were sent to me by God. Now, does anyone know what that means? Matt, do you know what it means? That's what I'm saying. We don't need another translator. We need someone that'll bond with the community to help gain our trust and give us some answers. That's what we need. With all due respect, we don't need another Russian beat cop interfering with our investigation. Investigation? We've got five dead bodies and no perp. What investigation? I want this son of a bitch, and I'm going to do what it takes to get him. Sir, this is my case. I'm in charge. I've been in charge since the beginning of this bastard's run. Not anymore. From here on in, I'll be spearheading the operation. And you and that Russian guest officer will share equal footing. And I want you to cooperate with him. I want all of you to cooperate with him. Now sit down. Sit down. Sir, with all due respect, if you bring in a Russian on this case, I think it sends out the wrong message. It says that we can't solve this crime without outside help. That's not what it's saying. What it says is that we'll do anything we can to help that community. It sends them that kind of message. It tells them that we don't want another Russian girl dead. And we'll do anything to help them. Am I clear? Yes, sir. OK. Come 
Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, you На Ленинградском проспекте в Москве произошел захват заложенных. Сохраняйте спокойствие. Не надо больше жертв. Хорошо? И как только что нам стало известно, один из заложников погиб. Бандиты требуют пули непробиваемый инкассаторский броневик. Черт тебе победил. Что делал дрянь? Да, ну. Да посмотрим, чем я тебе могу помочь. Что делаешь? Я тебя же всех убью! Я здесь командую! Стой! 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 А кто убью? Майор Казатов, разрешите войти и посмотреть на заложников? Нет, машину. Я без оружия. Позволь зайти. Давай. Спасибо. Ты или говори, или дурак. Ты ждешь броневик. Эти не успеют. Потому что часом нужно еще, как минимум. Да как сделаем? Я останусь здесь. Людей отпустишь. Смотри. Получи! Amen. Mm -hmm. 
especially, especially. Polina. Cherry's three minutes. Obi. Как скажешь. Чуть не сорвал всю операцию. Это произвол. Я здесь командую. Я сейчас же звоню полковнику Гиламову. Решите, товарищ полковник. Все свободны, кроме тебя. Тебе же сказали ничего не делать, пока я не приеду. Ты что? Не подчиняешься приказам. Товарищ полковник, если бы я не вмешался, жертвы было намного больше. Вот-вот, тебе повезло. Тебе повезло, если бы это произошло иначе. Ты бы сорвал. Сорвал операцию, ты это понимаешь? Ну, не сорвал же, товарищ полковник. Да. Ты какое-то время... Не будешь работать у меня в отделе. Не буду работать у вас в отделе. Не будешь. Пойдем подышим свежим воздухом. Тебя переводят. Возвращайте меня в Тулу. Нет. В Соединенные Штаты. В Америку. Да. В Калифорнию. Вернее, в Лос-Анджелес. Проблема с полицейскими. Не могут обнаружить. Убивают русских девушек. Почему я? Я никогда там не был. Ты ведь отлично знаешь английский, правда же? А, да, еще, еще. Не хочется тебе об этом говорить. Но скажу. Ты наш лучший сотрудник. Спасибо. Договорились, да? Договорились? Хорошо. Только не забудь крем для загара. Там солнце включит. Калифорния. Калифорния. And you must be Vladimir Kazatov. Yes, sir. <laughs> what the hell do they feed you people over there? Is that all from borscht and caviar? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Antonio Manuelos, career homicide cop. I'll be your partner, and I'll also be your cruise director in Los Angeles. It's a city of little angels, you know. Thank you. Nice to be here. Take your bag? Yeah, thank you. Right this way.
So, you ever been to the States? No. And you're from Moscow? Yes, I am. Probably don't get to see an ocean very often, huh? Correct. And Moscow will only have river. Ah. So what do you say? We swing by and check out the big, bad, blue Pacific. It's on the way. I would like that. Plus, I can show you my favorite body surfing spot. It's got a freakishly gnarly, sick beach break. One of the best of them. Like that? was so nice in Hollywood. I guess it's different than in the movies. Yeah, it's different than the movies. You know, everyone says that. Because folks outside of LA, they, they don't see what we see. You know, the underbelly of Hollywood, Tinseltown, it's not that pretty. We, unfortunately, see what happens to all the people that come out to, you know, make their dreams come true, the stars and the starlets stars don't quite get to shine. It's actually pretty sad. Right this way, amigo. This is where it all happens. Watch, Commander. Burglary, vice, narcotics, lieutenant. Robbery homicide. Who is this guy? And now the chief. This way? Thank you. Hmm? Major Kazatov. Nice to meet you, sir. You've been very highly recommended. Impressive credentials, Major. Tony, the Major was former Russian Special Forces. It's me who was impressed, sir. He did some background check on you. Ex-Navy SEAL, Iraq, Afghanistan. Tough cookie as you Americans say. <laughs> Looks at the seating. I've been in Afghanistan myself, sir. So a lot of pain. Looks like we bumped a new round. And we're still standing. It's an honor. Please. Please, sir. Now, I understand Commander Gromov has filled you in on the situation. Yes, sir. Uh, the bottom line is the Russian community isn't talking to us, so it's my hope that they'll be more inclined to communicate with you. I'll do my best. I'm sure they will. You have any questions? His victims, they're American citizens? No, no, they've all been here on visas. It was one other thing. We believe that the perp may be Russian. Why do you think so? He leaves cryptic messages in Russian and also a, uh, well, a black rose as his calling card. So, let's get your guns out. You'll fill out the paperwork later. Yes, sir. Excuse me, but do you have anything bigger? <laughs> Matt. Sir? Come on in. Come say hello to the Major. Major? Matt Robinson. Nice to meet you. You too. 
Uh, sir, that's a list of Russian immigrants I compiled. It's at the profile. Anything you need, Major? And somebody who knows where to find me. I hope this is better. That will work just fine. Thank you. Okay, why don't you guys bond, get him something to eat, some supplies. Let's get us a killer. So, I'm gonna get us a couple of tofu, seaweed, alfalfa smoothies. Tofu what? <laughs> You're gonna love them. in town less than a day, one man dead, another crippled. What do you have to say for yourself? There were two bad people hurting the woman. What else could I do? How about using some restraint? It was hard. They attacked me with guns. Is that how they do business in Russia? No. That's how I do business. Captain, you hear that? That's how I do business? That's crazy. With all due respect, sir, you're going to have to find him another partner. Because my jacket's got enough color already. The guy's a walking internal affairs investigation, not to mention getting me killed. I don't want any part of it. He's got two years to retirement. He wants to see his grandchildren grow up. Can you blame him? He's a good man. But I can't tell you how happy I am. I need someone pushing the line, balls out. Like nowadays, we've got criminals lawyering up, pissing on the leg of the whole system, all this bullshit with political correctness. If you keep doing what you're doing, I'll watch your back. They got more rights than the victims nowadays. Not in Russia. It seems like Russia's becoming more like America, and America's more like the Soviet Union. In some ways. I brought you a gift. That's for you, from Russia. So now you're my vodka. Спасибо, Major. На здоровье, sir. My pleasure. A damn fine label. Looking for a good time? It looks as if the serial murderer is still at large in Los Angeles and labeled the Black Rose Killer has struck again. Another young Russian-American woman was found in the warehouse district earlier this week. According to police sources, this is the fifth such murder in the last year. <laughs>
God. Number six. What do we have on her? We have a name. Anna Ovechkina, 22. She's Russian. Sorry, I'm late, Captain. Gentlemen, this is Detective Emily Smith. She's a profiler from LA Metro. Welcome. Detective Smith, this is your new partner, Major Vladimir Kazakov. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. Yeah, well, you'll have a lot to catch up on as you're both new to the department. Don't be late again, Emily. I am Matt Robinson. Don't mind him. <laughs> Antonio Manuelos. Good luck. Okay, now that the introductions are over with, let's get on with this. He's getting more confident. He's intensifying his kills. He's brazen, and he keeps taunting us. He's quite the melting pot, huh? Yes. It melts. That's for sure. We're going to a place called Chibureki. It's in West Hollywood. Last week can work over there part time. Yeah, I know the place. So, what part of Russia are you from? Moscow. I have never been out of the U.S. Born in Bread Valley. What does it mean, Valley Go? Oh, my God. Like, duh. Like, let's go to the mall and shop and, like, totally hang out. Hang out? Yeah, just cruise, dude, and chill and whatever. That's how Wally Gold talks? Yeah. Isn't it, like, totally awesome? Awesome is not a word I would use, but it's interesting. Selena Keaton? Yes? I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Have you seen these girls before? Never. No, that's not what we heard. They're Russians. <laughs> you think I know every Russian woman in this city? I'm Hugh Hefner. I no longer feel nice. Знаешь ее? Это... Ксения, she worked for me. Since it's a miracle, he got his memory back. So, what did she do when she wasn't working here? I don't know. I know she used to go to the club over on Motto with other working girls. The club? All the Russian girls go. This club have a name? There's Blake C. Mm. That's good. Thanks. Черт у вас побрат. What did you just say? He said you have beautiful eyes. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what he said. How do you not drink? Just no interest. What do you think of our American hamburgers? That's pretty good. Yeah, a lot better than that whatever you call it you ate at Vasili's. That smelled like grade-A crap. No, 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 no. That was rusty guy. My mom used to make it. It's fantastic. Well, what's in it that makes it stink so much? Fish. 
Oh my god. Fish in a pastry? I think I'm gonna hurl. Hurl? To be sick. You know, I'm trying to understand why a killer torture them before he kills them. He's a sadist. He either enjoys it or he has a compulsion to torture. You mean he might not like hurting them? Sadistic personality disorder, SPD. It's a mental illness. Now, other disorders that are included in SPD are bipolar, depression, uh, panic, histrionic and borderline personality disorders, OCD, and passive aggressive behavior. My new partner is working in encyclopedia. <laughs> so there is a big question. Why does he kill them? Well, let's assume he enjoys torturing the women before he kills them. This would be consistent with the classic profile of a serial killer, interested in pain and death only. Now, so far, none of the girls have been raped, so our killer doesn't derive any pleasure or gratification from sexual violation. How does this information help us? To isolate motive. 85% of serial killers are men. 88% of them are white. Now, unlike most other crimes, you can really profile a serial killer. You say most, but there's always exception to the rule. Correct. And unfortunately, this guy could be that exception. Perhaps along the way, a Russian girl did something that made him mad. And that's why he continues to kill one type of victims over and over again. As payback for a perceived wrong against him by a Russian woman. Maybe. And why the Black Rose? Symbolizes death. Black Roses are rare. Yes. Quite. They're actually a very dark red. They just look black. And they only bloom twice a year for 15 days. I never seen one. That's because they only grow in Helfeti, a small village in Turkey. Interesting. We should get back to the station. You go. Lunch is on me. I want to stay and walk around a little bit. So I'll see you later at Black Sea Club. OK, thanks. See you then. See you. I thought you were big. I hate feeling small. What can I get you? More like whom? I'd like to talk to your owner. Instead. Do you know her? Yes. Oh, God. I mean, I knew who she was. I don't know her personally, but she came here often. Did you ever talk to her, or did you see her come in with anyone special, like a boyfriend? No, I never saw her with anyone. Like I said, she was regularly here, but we never talked. Stop bullshitting us. Where's your owner? Okay. Come with me. No, what do you mean that she doesn't have to say? Tony, there's a police that want to talk to you.
Hello, I'm the owner of the club. How can I help you? We need some information. Sorry, don't start with here. Maybe you should contact my lawyer. Horrible. But what can I say? I heard about what happened, but when you see it, I guess you didn't expect to look like this. Can you give us anything? Boyfriend, friend, him? She was a loader, like most of the girls in her line of work. If you can think of anything, please give me a call. Okay. A lot of beautiful women here. You could have a field day. No such a pathetic when I'm working. And then why have you all sent this to you? Send this. Him. He was right there moments ago. What does it say? I'm sticking your neck out. The little neck that just might get cut. What did he look like? I don't know. How do you not know what he looked like? I don't believe you. I don't know. He grabbed my arm when I was passing by and told me not to look at him. He just handed me the rolls and told me to give the glass of champagne to the lady. I was afraid not to do what he said. I could be anybody. What can you tell us about this guy? Uh, that, that is Boris. He's worked here for years. We need to ask him some questions. That's not possible. Why not? He's a mute. That doesn't rule him out. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay. So you, what else can you tell me? Tomorrow we'll go back and see our friend Vasily at Chibureki. Yeah. Where's your apartment? I'll drop you off. It's a corner of Bajoli and Sikh. It's pronounced La Jolla. La Jolla. Yeah. It's right here. Thanks. No problem. Hey, Emily. He knows who you are. Just leave with your gun loaded. I'm way ahead of you. Good night. Good night. Ted Bundy, he would charm women with his boyish smile, then rape and kill them. He was arrested in 1977, only to escape and kill again. Number of victims? 30. Supposedly, he confessed to even more the night he was executed. 
John Wayne Gacy. Drugged his victims, handcuffed, raped them, and strangled them. He buried most of them in the backyard. Total number of victims? 33. Gary Ridgway, worst serial killer in U.S. history. He eluded justice in 2001. He would kill prostitutes. When he was given a polygraph test by the police, he passed it. Finally, DNA got him. Total number of victims? 49. 71 confessions. <laughs> yeah, but uh, <clears throat> it was estimated that there were over 90 victims, right? Right. Then we have Chikatilo, worst killer in Soviet Union history. Official number of victims, 53. Unofficial number, around 70. All smart, clever, unpredictable, and dangerous with a thirst for killing. You guys put yourselves in the eye of the storm. We'll use it at our advantage. Eventually, he will move against one or both of us. When he does, we'll have him. I want those on my desk as soon as possible. Looks like bringing you to Los Angeles wasn't such a good idea. Shut it down. I want the press kept back, okay? As long as you're on the case, people will continue to die. Looks like our killer knows me. No shit, Sherlock. This makes you a liability to this case. Or an asset. If he's tracking the major and myself, maybe we can make that work for us. In poker, I believe it is a face. Sooner or later, he will show his hand. Major, can I show you something? Excuse me. You know, you're good, but you're green. Excuse me? I'd watch your back if I were you. I did a little checking on the major. I want to ask him what happened to his last partner in Moscow. So the victim profile has officially changed along with motive. Killer is targeting us and murdering everyone. Vasily definitely knew something. Last victim worked for him and had ties to Black Sea Club. So we'll go there when they open. Go now, before they open. Oh, a little cloak and dagger. Cloak and what? Never mind. Vlad, what happened to your partner in Moscow? I don't want to talk about that. When I get to Black Sea, let's pull around the back so nobody can see us. I didn't know I needed one. Remember, I'm not from around here. So this is how you do things in Russia? No, that's how I do things. Check out over there. I'll go to the office. And if you need me, don't be afraid to yell. Yeah, don't worry, I will.
I can't believe it happened here. What were you doing here? We received a tip that one of your employees was in danger. I don't have any idea what he was doing here. You knew Vasily and the other victims, didn't you? I don't know what they are talking about. We also know you're running prostitution ring out of this place. Looks like it's finally catching up to you. You don't have to talk to us, but your club's going to be shut down until we get some answers. Our plan is working. We're drawing him out. He's going to start making mistakes. And one mistake will eventually finish him. Let's hope the mistake doesn't hurt one of you. You acquitted yourself well on the field today, Evelyn. Being fired upon is not an easy thing. Thank you, sir. I also know that you have limited field experience. So I'm thinking that you should man the operation from headquarters. I'm the bait. I have to be out there. Captain, with all due respect, sir, I will not feel safe without Detective Smith partnership. She knows how a killer operates. I need her. That's exactly what I wanted to hear from you both. OK. Now, this waiter, he was a petty thief. No felons, all misdemeanors. Worked at the Black Sea. You. You spoke to Natalia. Yeah, she really didn't give us much of anything, so I think we need to go back and push a little harder. I think we should focus the investigation around the Black Sea. Again. I'm sorry, she's not here. What's your name? I'm Sandra. So, Sandra, where can we find her? I don't know. She called me a few hours ago, asked me to meet her here to help clean up, and it doesn't like her not to call her show up. Are you okay? <sighs> I'm scared. Why would anyone do that to Gary? He was just a waiter. Funny how life is. Things are simple. One moment, like that. We are close to that waiter, Gary? No, but he was a human being. And that poor girl who was killed. She didn't deserve to die. She wasn't a bad girl. Do you believe there's a life after we die, Detective? Yes, I believe there is something after all of this. I envy you that. You call this number anytime, okay? We're here to help. When Natalia shows up, tell her to give us a call. Thank you. I will. Bye, Sandra. Let's go, Sandra. Strange. Very philosophical. She's scared, rightfully so. Listen, Vlad, um, thanks for backing me up with the captain today. It really means a lot to me. You do your job well. You're an asset. Yeah, but you didn't have to if you didn't want to. Detective Smith? Uh, hello, Emily. 
I have someone here who would like to speak with you. Who is this? Natalia, owner of a C-Corp. Natalia, how can we help you? I'm afraid you cannot help her now. Emily, isn't that right, Natalia? Don't kill me, please. Yes, keep begging, whore. It's good when they beg. Gratifying on very primal level. If I was sexual deviant, I might even be aroused. Please, let's just talk. Done. Talking. Time for time. <gasps> Two cream and one sugar. Thanks. Looks like Natalia had a hand at getting all the victims their American visas. She brought them over and sponsored them by letting them work at her club. Could be something, or she could just honestly be trying to help them out. What about the Black Roses? I tried to track any roses that might have been shipped from Halfetti, but they can't survive the transit from Turkey. So where does he get them? I don't know. You know, the fact that all the victims, they were not raped is unusual. All serial killers, before they kill their victims, they rape them. Yeah, that's right. So that one, maybe he can't, you know, maybe he's impotent. It could be an added component to his cruelty, self-hate, self-flagellation. Hey, Bonuelos, you got that report yet? Morning, comrades. Good morning. Captain wants to see you, too. And, uh, don't be late. Hey, Emily. Look, I heard what happened. It's hard the first time. Don't worry. We'll find her. Come in. Please have a seat. Does this look like the shooter's getaway vehicle? Yes, that's it. It was reported stolen about a year ago. We're on top of it this morning. Forensic shows that there was blood in the trunk, no fingerprints. Do you have a DNA match with Natalia? No, but there is one for the waiter. Emily, I'm taking you off the case. What? No. You threw me under the bus? We're doing this for your own good. I can't believe you did this to me. I trusted you. Emily. Hey, Emily. You have your story? Well, I have mine. My father was a detective, and he was shot down in the line of duty. I slugged my way through the academy and office politics for years, and I don't deserve this. Our killer wants you now. He changed everything. It changes nothing, Vlad. I'm a cop. I'm supposed to put myself in the line of fire. That's what I signed up for, just like you. I can't lose a partner. You lost more than a partner today, Major. You lost a friend. Detective Smith. Detective Smith. Hello, Emily. You bastard. That's the spirit. You know I have become an admirer of yours lately. I want to help you. Help me do what? Stop me from killing and find Natalia. I want to meet you tonight. But you must come alone. If I see you at police. There will be consequences. Where and when? You know Paradise Nightclub. Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, good, good. I will meet you there. Midnight tonight. He wants to meet me tonight. Alone. Where? Club on Hollywood Boulevard. Can't let you do this. 
Would you do it? It's different. I'm much more experienced. I've been put to bad situations before. Besides, Captain just took you off the case. And Captain doesn't have to know. Would you do it? If you had a chance to nail the sadistic son of a bitch, would you do it? That's what I thought. Okay. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, right? I'll watch you all the time. And I'm really this guy, he's unusual. Methodical and smart, very smart. And our job is to be smarter. Yes? Are you a one? You know I am. Big man, not allowed to protect you. I told you I'm alone, what now? You weren't nice tonight. Let's cut the bullshit, shall we? Bullshit? I give you confidence. And this is what I get in return. Why are you doing this? Doing what? Killing innocent people. They are not innocent. They are parasites. Low life pimps and whores. Vasily. Was cockroach and little scammer. These low life whores are festering cancer to society and will not be missed. These women were just trying to survive the best way they know how. <laughs> Do you know how many jobs are in Los Angeles at this? Low life whores and immigrants just want to open their legs for money. What about Natalia? Oh, Natalia. Natalia is gone. The Black Sea is placed at prison. Is it an iniquity? She sells prostitutes for money. Do you think she cares about girls? Maybe that's true. But is it worth killing someone over? You tell me. You want to see Natalia? Yes, yes, very much so. Go powder it. That's not good. Natalia? See the bitch. I left you with the dream. You lied to me, Emily. What are you talking about? I told you. Come on, what? But isn't your partner standing next to you right now? I will have to think of fitting punishment for you, Emily. You lying whore. That is not good. You think? Yeah, you don't take it out on me, rookie. You're not even supposed to be here. Captain's gonna love this. The kid's had a tough day. She's not a kid. Today she's a professional. I should remember that, detective. I keep it in mind, detective. This guy's good. Too good. He knows our every move. He's always one step ahead of us. And if he knows where you live, we're going to my place. When you spoke to him, did he tell you anything which could help us? He's playing God by killing those he deems unfit to live. He knows you. 
which means he's done some kind of background check on you. You're right. And he was able to get my private cell phone number. He's gotta be missing something. Welcome. Um, I'm just thinking that when he killed Natalia, I was listening, terrified, and, and I remember her voice and how scared she was. He was speaking to her in English. If they're both Russian, wouldn't they be speaking Russian? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. This whole time we've been looking for a Russian. You said maybe next, possibly. Yeah, maybe he just wants us to think he's Russian. Do you remember those notes I translated to you? Yeah. Very poorly written, with many grammar mistakes, you know? So he's... Familiar with the Russian language, but not proficient. Would you like water? Yeah. Hey, Vlad. Yes? What happened to your partner in Moscow? I don't think you want to know. And I wouldn't have asked. I told you my story. It was a very bad day, about a year ago. Me and my partner, Alexei, we work at Vukino, which is a set of Moscow very rough area, known for drug trade. I suspect a big deal. And should have waited for help to arrive, but we didn't. So I sent Alexei upstairs and then back. And then I saw him again. He had a gun to his head. The drug dealer told me that I either surrounded my weapon or my partner dies. What did you do? You never make any deals with criminals. That's the whole situation. That's my motto. But they say it was my friend. This time was an exception. I surrounded my weapon. But he didn't let him go. Serious. You shot him. He died at my arms today. I'm so sorry. I'll not lose another partner. I'm gonna nail that son of a bitch. Damn right we are. Thanks for being there for me tonight. So this is your partner? Yes. You two are at a train station in Moscow? What's your point? We don't get that many trains here in LA, especially late at night. When Natalia called, I heard a train in the background. The killer called using Natalia's cell phone. The grid from her phone was a 28 square mile area in downtown LA. We check out phone records on your cell as to exactly what time the call was made. And then we get a schedule for the last train that ran through that cell grid. Right, and wherever the train was at that time will be close to where the killer commits his crimes. Which is true if he kills all his victims at the same place. If he jumps around... Trust me, he's got a base of operations. I'm back for a rookie. Yeah, my money. I 
gave you the cop's phone number. Did you know that you can create false black rows? by putting red rose in the ways of black ink. A rose absorbs the ink, slowly turns black. Just a thought. Hey, Vlad, you might want to take a look at this. According to the MTA, there's a Union Pacific train that passes through our grid at the same time as the killer's call. And at the exact time of our call, train is passing by this location. Harbor Ink Factory. Yeah, yeah, it's been shut down for years, and now it's just a big abandoned factory. Let's go. Harboring factory. See, that's brand new. Go around this side. Be careful. Now we understand why murders never stopped under your investigation. Come on, Emily, join the party. Hey. <laughs> Step away from the girl. Drop your weapons. We still can all walk out of here. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm not going to jail. You know what happens to cops in jail. I'm going to know what to do. Shh, it's all right, baby. It'll be all over soon. No one's going to die. Don't you lie to her, you whore. It's all right, baby. It's all right. You see what happens, huh? Someone is gonna die. No, I'm ready for that. Well, are you ready to have someone die on your watch? I don't think so. So, let's go with option number two. You drop your weapons, I give you the girl, and I walk out of here. Never surrender my weapon, pal. Well, that's not what I hear. Is it? Is that what you hear? No, it's not. It's <laughs> Isn't that how you lost your partner, Alexev? You expect us to trust you? All right, let's go with option number one. Please, don't do this, please. Drop your guns or I finish this. 
Do it or I cut her! Okay. Okay. You two. Down! On the ground! What happened, Matt? Did she hurt you? Did she cheat on you? Don't try and profile me, Emily. She lied to you. Put it down! On the ground! I swear, I swear I'll do it! Was it your girlfriend? Your sister? Or your wife? Wife? I never had a wife. I gave her everything. But you trusted her. I offered her a new life. And you cut my heart out! Did your father sexually molest you? Shut up! Put the gun down! On the ground! Is your mother a whore? Don't you tell my mother's a whore! Can you hear me? Can you hear me? It's okay. You're okay. You're safe. You're safe. We're gonna get you to the hospital. I want to apologize to the both of you. At a certain point, I had a feeling the investigation was being corrupted. So I needed a team that was outside the department. About three years ago, Detective Robinson transferred from the San Francisco Police Department. At that time, we gave him a customary background check and found that he traveled to Russia. Didn't mean anything then. I guess that explains why he could write and speak a little Russian. While he was there, he hooked up with Natalia. She was operating a mail-order bride operation out of the Black Sea. He was hoping to obtain a wife. Instead, he got hustled. He felt used by Russian women. That was his bloody revenge for abandoning him. And when Natalia became a liability, he killed her, too. He killed anybody that got close to him. That's the guy I should have profiled. He's very good at covering his tracks and burying his past. People from the inside do that better than anyone. It's a sad day when one of our own betrays everything we stand for. It's an honor, baby. Only wish you'd stay and work with us, but I know your heart's in Moscow. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Buenuelos. We did it. I guess so. Was I a good wingman, Vlad? The best I ever had. The best you ever had? The best I ever had, and the most prettiest one. <laughs> Are you hitting on me, Major? No, not yet. Oh. No, my English is not that well. <laughs> well, we don't need English for the language of love. I hope so. <laughs> Would you like to go to Moscow? Yeah, you think you could show me around? And your time partner. Excellent. Just don't make me eat those fish cakes, okay? They stink. Don't like them either. I was pretending. <laughs> Let's have a hamburger and an orange juice. How about that?